started from the bottom. No. to the video that literally no one asked for. <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty self-explanatory. You can already tell by the title of this video what this video is going to be about. What made me decide to do this video? Great question. I honestly don't know. This is just something that I've always kind of just wanted to try myself. So I thought I would just like document my journey. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like don't really know how to feel about this for the longest time when like menstrual cups first became like a thing I was like totally grossed out by the idea of them. Like I don't know. I just thought they were like disgusting but at the same time I was like intrigued and I kind of wanted to try it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I've heard great things about them which is kind of like another reasons why I wanted to try it. And also just the thought of if this thing like really works and I fall in love with it, that will just like, you know, save the time and money of dealing with like maxi pads and tampons. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. We're kind of bringing it back with, to the old YouTube days with this whole angle I got going on right now. I kind of wanted this to be just like a more like relaxed vlog-like style video. So I kind of just have you guys propped up on some books. And if you ever see any like mess behind me, I have like wedding stuff scattered literally all over the floor in my office. So just ignore that. But yes, let's go ahead and start um, showing you guys the specific menstrual cup that I got. Um, just kind of reading like the directions and basically how to use it. And then I guess I'll try using it today. <laughs> Okay, so this is the menstrual cup that I got. I picked this up at Target, I believe. This is the Salt brand. It's the soft menstrual cup, and I got mine in a size small. It has, like, sizing um, instructions on the back of this. It comes in a small size and then as well as a regular size. For the regular, it says normal to heavy flow, high capacity, high cervix. Um, and then for the small, it says light to normal flow, first time user, and pre-birth. So I kind of fit into all of those categories. Like I said, I've never used a menstrual cup before. I don't have any children. And my periods are pretty light. And so yeah, this is like the cute little packaging it comes in. And it also has like a little look window so you can like see the menstrual cup in there. I don't, oh, that grosses me out. I don't know why. And then I also decided to pick this up with it. This is a cup wash by the same brand. That was also like my other issue and why I was like grossed out by menstrual cups is like, I don't know, like the cleanliness of them. Like how do you keep them clean? And like, do they ever really get clean? I don't know, it kind of grosses me out. I guess some people could like argue that it's like similar to a tampon, but like tampons aren't reusable. You could just throw them out after. But yeah, so I decided to pick up like the specific cleaner um, of the same brand that just kind of made me feel a little bit better about trying it out. And it says on the back of the cleaner, salt wash is specifically formulated to gently clean your silicone cup while protecting your skin from residue or irritants. Using only premium ingredients, this lightly foaming wash helps remove bacteria while maintaining a healthy pH, naturally scented with essential citrus. Okay, I guess I probably should have read this beforehand. That kind of like freaks me out too because I don't ever like putting anything scented down there. Like that's just a no-no. I don't even care if it's naturally scented. Like, mm, I don't know about that. But yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and open up the menstrual cup real quick. It says it comes with obviously the cup itself. Um, it comes with instructions and then it also comes with a little carrying bag, which is so fancy. Okay, so there we go. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know that just like really weirds me out so here is the star of the show <laughs> so this is the size of it right here and then there's like the little cup opening right there it comes with a very um very interesting sticker it, I don't who who would use this like I don't know maybe some like true hardcore feminist would put this somewhere but like I don't think I really want to put like a menstrual cup that's actually, that's like filled anywhere. Um, but it says put a cup in it. Take the quiz, save a tampon. I don't know, it's telling you to go to like some site for all your cup needs. 
Okay, there's like a few different little paper things. And then here's the little carrying case with it, which I think it's kind of cute. I like the pattern on it. Okay, so some of these are just like little like advertisement type things. I'm trying to look for the instructions right now. Oh, so this is interesting. So this looks like a little like fact sheet just telling you a little bit more about like menstrual cups and I guess why they're so good to use compared to other uh, feminine products. So I'll just read like some of the things on here that I find interesting. So it says 20 billion plus menstrual products are disposed of annually in the U.S. One salt cup diverts 3,000 tampons and pads from landfills. Saves money $1,500. One cup lasts 10 years and saves an average of $1,500 over the cup's life. That would definitely add up over time. That is crazy. Uh, let's see, the cup, it promotes the natural pH balance of your vagina and doesn't cause dryness like a tampon. You can also wear your salt cup for up to 12 hours before emptying, which is kind of also, I guess, another plus, like if it really does work, because, you know, most tampons, they tell you not to wear past eight hours. So to be able to keep, you know, the menstrual cup for 12 hours before emptying is pretty cool. Alrighty, so now we have made it to the instructions. And it also lists some other benefits of um, the menstrual cup on here as well. Um, it also says it's comfortable, which I really don't see how it would be comfortable. So we're definitely going to have to find out for ourselves. But it says it's comfortable, soft, flexible, and molds to your shape. Um, oh, allowing you to hike, swim, or just relax. Uh, it says it's natural, naturally non-toxic and odor-free, and it maintains a natural pH. And it's safe. It says it's hyperallergenic and biocompatible biocompatible did I say that right I don't know all oh, right the big question how does it stay in because that's kind of my question I feel like it's not going to stay in very well or it's going to be very uncomfortable so it says salt cups fit comfortably inside your vi vaginal canal and stays in place when a seal is formed between the outside of the cup and the walls of your vagina when inserted properly your cup will rest naturally you won't even notice it's there okay and then it kind of gives like a little diagram I guess <laughs> of how it fits in there I need to figure out like as far as the cleaning and sanitizing because I'm assuming that I would have to like do something before I put it in rinse your salt cup in cold water after use to prevent staining Blech. okay it says you should disinfect your salt cup between cycles by boiling your cup in water for four to five minutes to sanitize it okay and then it also says you can just toss this in the washer to clean the carrying bag that you keep it in. Oh my god, it literally says in the instructions to not share your salt cup or your menstrual cup. Like, who would be sharing it? Like, oh my god. <laughs> this video is so disgusting. I apologize. All right, let's see. Your first time using the cup, consider removing your cup in the shower or while sitting on a toilet. Okay. Always pinch the grip rings at the base of the cup to break the seal. Don't pull on the stem alone. It also says in here, like if you have like an IUD or some sort of like birth control that way to make sure you definitely break the seal first before pulling it out because it can actually dislodge your IUD. So that's good to know if any of you are interested in having an IUD, that would be terrifying if that happened. Uh, wiggle your cup back and forth while holding the grip rings and keep your cup upright as you Pull it past your labia to avoid spilling. Oh my god, this is so disgusting. <laughs> if you can't reach your cup when inserted, don't sweat it. The cup won't get lost inside the vagina. Your cup may move higher, especially after sleeping, but don't stress. Wait 30 minutes and try again. Use your pelvic muscles to gently bear down on the cup, pushing it lower. Squatting in the shower can also help or sitting on the toilet with your feet on a stool. Okay, so that's kind of what I was like thinking because that was also like my other fear is like what if I can't get it out? Especially like because I knew like when you put it in there it creates some sort of seal to like keep it in there. But like I was always like worried that like what if I couldn't break the seal and then I couldn't get it out? Like because I definitely don't think my husband's going to help me get it out. <laughs> oh my god, if you are struggling to remove your cup, please email us. If this thing gets stuck in me, I'm going to be that bitch going to like the ER urgent care. I'm not going to spend the time emailing someone.
This is, this is a joke, I swear. Oh, it actually says that you can trim the stem part. I guess they make it this long to like, you know, accommodate all sorts of different women, depending on how like you wear your cup and how it fits inside you, I guess. And if it ends up being too long, you can actually trim it. So that's interesting. Oh, another important thing that it mentions, which is something that I thought was like the opposite. I thought you could like prevent toxic shock syndrome by using a menstrual cup compared to like using tampons. But it actually says in here, menstrual cups have been associated with toxic shock syndrome. Okay, so you still are kind of like at that risk, even with the menstrual cup. Okay, yeah, now we're kind of moving on to actually using it and how to insert it. Um, so before we go into that, I'm gonna go ahead and sterilize this. So I'm gonna just go boil this in some water and then I'll come back after we do that and I guess we'll try to use it. <laughs> All right, so now we're in my bathroom. So the cup is sanitized. I washed my hands. Um, so now we're just gonna try inserting it. Now it says for inserting it, you need to like fold the cup a certain way for it to go in. It says you can fold it three different ways. Um, they all work, but you basically can just do whatever is most comfortable for you. So I think what I'm gonna do is fold it in like what they call the C fold. So you kind of just like press it together and then fold it and it makes like a little C. Um, it also tells you that you can do a punch down fold or a seven fold. Um, I think the punch down fold kind of goes like this. You just press one side with your index finger and then fold it the other way. Um, but I don't find that as easy. I think mainly because my nails get in the way. And then the seven fold is you basically hold it, flatten it, and then you're supposed to take your thumb and take your thumb and just fold one side down. I don't know if I'm doing that right, but it's supposed to like be in like the shape of a seven. I don't know. But yeah, like I said, I think the C fold is easiest for me. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Um, and then yeah, it basically says you can squat, sit, stand with like your leg up, whatever is most comfortable for you as far as inserting it. You want to keep it folded and then you basically just insert it. And then I think you just kind of let go. As you're inserting it, you want to do it kind of like as an angle. It tells you to go like almost back, like towards your tailbone, because like the vagina is like naturally angled that way. So to get like the best seal and to prevent like leakage or anything like that, um, it tells you to kind of insert it that way. And then basically after you do that, you just check um, the seal. You basically just kind of like grip it at the bottom, like pinch a little bit and turn it to kind of create the seal. It has like four little air bubbles in it and that kind of helps um, create the seal and then also helps you to break the seal as well. It also says that you can kind of like tug, not pull, but like tug on the little stem at the bottom and if there's any type of resistance then that way you know that it is secure. Another way that you can tell that it's secure because obviously as you're putting it in you have it in some type of fold and it actually tells you that you can put like your finger up there kind of like going around the cup feeling for any folds if you feel any folds that tells you right there that there's an, it's not going to be secure and if there's no folds then most likely then it has a good seal on it so yeah there's a couple of different ways that you can check it and then basically after you do that you're good to go so currently it's about three in the afternoon so i'm not going to be able to get like a full 12 hour wear out of it i'm going to try to do seven to eight hours but yeah so let's go ahead and give this a try I'm gonna try to do this standing up, but I don't really know how easy that's gonna be. This is so awkward. Is this even allowed on YouTube? But probably not. And it also says like if needed, you can use like water as like a natural lubricant if like you're having trouble getting it in. I don't know how I'm like supposed to do this. I might have to squat. Hang on. <laughs> ow! Oh my god, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Okay, first attempt was a fail. We're gonna try this again. This is like beyond difficult, you guys. Oh my god, I think it's in. Oh my god, this is so weird. Okay, it's in, but like, I 
don't know if there's like a good seal on it. Okay, yeah, this is what I was worried about. It's such a like you can literally like put your finger in there and like swoop around the cup to make sure it's like unfolded and all that jazz. I don't think I can even do that. I mean, I'm not trying to brag over here that I like can't get my finger in my vagina, but like, you know what I mean? Like, this is like so awkward. Blech. You know, I don't know if like menstrual cups are like long nail approved. Honestly, I'm like a wee bit terrified <laughs> that I'm not gonna be able to get this thing out. Cause like, like I said, to like check that it's secure and to get it out, you need to be able to grab like the bottom like grip portion or like the gripped base you're able to like pinch it and then kind of wiggle its way out or you pinch it and turn it to secure it and like I can't do that <laughs> like I don't know if it's just like I just need to get used to it or like my nails are just too long and I literally can't even do it yeah it's in I don't know I think it might be secured because I was like trying to like pull on the stem portion and I think there might have been resistance but like at the same time I don't really know because this is like all new to me. So I guess I'm just gonna leave it for now. Oh so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm just kind of freaking out that I like really screwed up and now I'm not gonna be able to get it out. Um, but yeah, I'll just check it later. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be good news. Hopefully I'll be able to get it out. Um, but you guys will find out in just a little bit. And if all goes well today, I'll try to wear it again tomorrow. Cause I feel like that will be like the true test because I do work tomorrow and I work 12 hour shifts. So I'll try to put it in like before I go to work and then take it out when I get home and see how that goes. But we'll take one thing at a time. How I'm feeling right now, I don't ever want to use this thing again. But yeah, we'll see. So yeah, I'll check it in with you guys in a little bit. All right, so it's a couple hours later. I just kind of wanted to come on here and give a little update. And if it's a little shaky, I'm just holding my camera right now. Yeah, so actually when I stopped filming last time, I actually ended up taking the cup out like right away. Just because I was like seriously freaking out that like I couldn't get it out. I did eventually get it out and I was able to put it back in. But yeah, as far as taking it out, I found it that it was the easiest for me to just squat as far down as I could um, and kind of like push and take it out with my fingers at the same time. That's what I found the easiest. Every other way was not happening whatsoever. And it was honestly quite difficult. Now that I've actually been able to do it, I think maybe it'll get easier from here on out, but we'll see. And yeah, like I said, I did put it back in, so I obviously am still using it. It definitely is not very comfortable. It really feels like like, you know, when you put a tampon in and you don't put it in all the way and you can like feel it and it's uncomfortable. That's exactly what it feels like. I kept trying to like mess with it and I kept trying to like re-put it in, see if like I was doing it wrong or if I could get it like farther up so it wasn't as comfortable. But like, I just, I just can't do it. Like, again, I don't know if it's like me, my anatomy, or it's my nails. I don't know what it is, but like I have the hardest time like trying to put it in and like get my fingers like farther up there <laughs> so yeah it's definitely not the most comfortable feeling but i think it's incorrectly i haven't noticed any like spotting or i've just been kind of like sitting on the couch now i'm about to like clean up my filming room um so i'm going to be moving around a lot more which that tends to trigger like more bleeding like the more activity you have at least for me so we'll kind of see how that goes um i just kind of wanted to check in and kind of tell you guys my experience thus far and yeah i think that's all that i wanted to mention so i will see you all guys again tonight when we take it out for the night all right you guys it's a little after nine o'clock so i'm just about ready to get um ready to wind down for the night probably just hop into bed with the book try to fall asleep so I'm gonna go ahead and try to take a cup out now. I'll be down here. <laughs> okay, so I was able to get it out. Obviously, I'm not gonna show you. Um, there's not like a lot in it, which I'm not really surprised because like I said, I'm my period's pretty light in general. But, I mean, there wasn't really any leakage. I'm pretty sure that the seal kept its way through. When I mentioned that it was like pretty uncomfortable, that was pretty steady throughout the entire time I was wearing it. I feel like, you know, the more 
I didn't really think about it. I didn't really notice it as often, but I would notice it more if I went from like a sitting to a standing position or sometimes when I walked. But the more I was thinking about that, actually how in the instructions it said, if you need to, you can actually trim the stem. And so I'm wondering if maybe that would help because with the stem being shorter, it wouldn't stick out as much and maybe it wouldn't feel as uncomfortable. But I think I'll keep the stem the way it is for now, at least until I get used to like wearing it um, and definitely get used to like inserting it and taking it out again. Um, but yeah, so I think that's really all of my thoughts for now. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it now. Just to see how easy it is to clean. And like the, um, cup wash that I got didn't really have any instructions that came with it how to specifically clean it. So I just put a really good amount on there and I'm just going to basically scrub it really good. Oh my gosh, yeah, you can definitely smell the citrus from this wash. It's pretty strong. Yeah, I don't know if I like that at all, having that <laughs> strong of a scent. I don't really know if I want that down in my lady parts. Just like that, it's all clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands, but real quick, I'll just kind of like end this part of the video. Um, like I said, I'll try it using it again tomorrow um, while I'm at work, which will be a full day of wearing it. And then I'll definitely, I'll try to check in during the day. I don't know how possible that's gonna be because I will be at work, um, but I will definitely check in when I get home. But yeah, that's about it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello everyone. It is the next day. It is actually like almost nine o'clock at night. Um, yeah, I'm probably just going to make this clip pretty short. Sorry, I have like the greasiest, like worst hair. Anyways, I'm probably going to make this clip short. Um, I was originally going to just like wrap up this video tonight, but honestly, you know, this is real life we're working with. I had a very long day. I'm exhausted. And after a long day of work, all I wanted was to pick up some Qdoba, which I did, but that was just a whole process. It took like over an hour to get my food and then I got it and then it was wrong. And so I had to like fix it and wait in this huge line. Got home later than I was expecting to. Honestly, not mad at the Qdoba staff. Like they were super busy, super understaffed, like every other place in the world. <sighs> but yeah, so I'm just gonna cut this short because I'm starving, I'm exhausted. So I just kind of want to crash. And so yeah, so I need to get this cup out because I've had it in for like 13 hours now, maybe a little bit longer than that. So yeah, just kind of recap how today went. It went pretty good. I feel like it got better the more the day went on. This morning, the discomfort was definitely there, kind of how I described it yesterday. That was kind of there. I had a little bit of like cramping today, which now that I think of it, I did have a tiny bit yesterday as well. But when I had the cramping yesterday, it was also at the same time that I was eating something. And so I thought maybe it was the food I was eating. And then this morning when I was having the cramping, I was like downing my coffee. And so I don't know if it was just a coincidence. I don't really know if the cramping was from the cup or if it was from the food I was eating and the drink I was drinking because not diagnosed with it, but I'm like 99% sure I have IBS. And so things food, drinks, even if it's stuff I have on a daily basis, every once in a while it will really upset my stomach and cause like cramping, burning, other symptoms like that. So I don't know if it was the cup or if it was other things, but that's just something that I noticed. Um, and then also I did notice it towards the beginning of the day. I was worried that I didn't have the best seal because when I would like go to the bathroom, like, go number one, and I would wipe, I noticed that there was like some blood there you know so I was kind of thinking that like obviously there was blood going around the cup and coming out but that was really only this morning throughout the day I didn't notice that when I went to the bathroom anymore and the comfort level I did get used to it the more the day went on so yeah, there's that. So I think that's about everything I wanted to update you guys from today. So let's go ahead and take this out. Already washed my hands. Okay, I think I got it. 
there's actually blood in it. Disgusting. Weird, but fascinating. <laughs> And like I already mentioned, for me personally, I have pretty light periods in general throughout my cycle. Sometimes I'll have heavier days, but overall it's pretty light. So I wasn't really expecting this thing to be filled. I feel like cleaning it is like one of the most disgusting parts of it. Cause like, I'm just like doing it in my bathroom sink. And it's like, I don't know, I, I just have to like clean my sink out every time. Cause that's just like gross. I don't want my like blood just like sitting. Even if I wash it all down the drain, I don't want it like sitting in the sink, you know what I mean? <sighs> so yeah, I think that's about it for tonight. I'll try to get more uses out of it as well, because I feel like the more I use it, the more comfortable hopefully I'm going to get with it. Um, and also the more times I use it, um, the more information that I can pass on to you guys if you're interested. Which I'm hoping, if you're watching this video, you're interested. <laughs> or you're just a creep, who knows. Yeah, and then I will definitely work on a pros and cons list of a menstrual cup and give you guys my final opinion. So I'm going to go eat. I am starving, and I will talk to you all very soon. I apologize for, like, the yellow um, light, but it's currently nighttime. But I thought I would go ahead and end this video since, like, I had my makeup done and I started this video, like, almost two months ago. <laughs> So yeah, the last thing that I filmed um, was from my very first experience using the menstrual cup. And since then, I already had my next cycle, which I did use um, the menstrual cup during that cycle. So that was kind of one of the reasons I wanted to wait and kind of finish out this video. Um, since, you know, life just got busy and it just kept slipping in my mind. And then all of a sudden my next cycle was here and I was just like, well, I might as well use the menstrual cup during this cycle, see if there's anything different, if I can find any more pros or cons with it. So from using the menstrual cup the second time around, I did notice that I got a lot better or quicker inserting the cup and then taking it out. Now with that being said, I don't know if I would say it was easier to do. I feel like it was still kind of on like the complicated side, which I kind of mentioned before, like I just can't get my fingers up there and do like that little swoop method around the cup or to really make sure that it's inserted properly, I guess. So I don't know if I would say it was easier to insert and take out, but I felt like I got quicker with it. Um, one thing that I did notice for a short time that I was wearing the cup, I did have some leakage. So one of the days that I did wear, I had to, you know, take it out and put it back in, which I think fixed the problem, but I don't know. It was just, it, it's really hard for me to like know if I have a good seal or not. Cramping that I noted was still there. It happened. I'm pretty sure like almost every time. It did not like last for a long period of time. I felt like this time it was more comfortable in that sense, but I did still have the cramping. And one of the days, again, I don't know if it was like diet related or what, but I one of the days um, along with the cramping, I kind of felt the cramping like throughout my abdomen, which made me a little nervous. Um, all the other times kind of felt like regular, just like subtle period cramps um but I did have a day where it was like oh like my stomach like everywhere was cramping um but that was just one of the days and again I don't know it could have been like diet related whatever I ate that day another thing I noticed which I don't know I kind of like thought about not including this in the video just because it's kind of gross but I don't know why and like maybe it was just all in my head, but I felt like it was more odorous. <laughs> like I don't really know how else to describe it. But I just felt like, you know, when I was using the menstrual cup compared to like using like pads or tampons, I just felt like I could smell it. I don't know. I don't know if that's like normal. Again, maybe it was all in my head because I mean, no one said anything. <laughs> No, I don't have anything else funky going on down there. So don't try to come for me, all right? This is a very vulnerable moment right now, and this is embarrassing enough. 
but yeah, I don't know. And that was just like kind of interesting to me because I'm pretty sure it says like in like the directions or in like one of the like paper pamphlets that came with the menstrual cup, it n like mentioned, you know, using menstrual cups is like less odorous or it controls the odor more. And again, I feel like I didn't really notice that the very first time I used it. So I don't know, again, if it was in my head, maybe it was like hormone related. I don't really know, but that's just something I noticed. But a plus that like, I don't know, it just really hit me this time using the menstrual cup is it was so nice that I didn't have to worry about like tampons. It was so nice that I didn't have to like you know, as I was going out somewhere to make sure that, oh, I have to make sure there's tampons in my purse or, oh, it's getting close to that eight hour mark. I need to change out my tampon. Like I did still use pads um, this cycle. Like I wore the menstrual cup like during the day and then I would switch to a pad at nighttime. But yeah, other than that, I did not use one tampon, which was just like crazy to me. And it was, it was kind of nice. I liked it. So yeah, those are basically my experiences the second time, but I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I feel like it's already long enough. Um, so real quick, just to kind of go over my pros and cons list of the menstrual cup. Um, I'll go ahead and just get the cons out of the way first. I'm looking down at my phone because I have a horrible memory and I write everything down. So if you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. So con number one, I found it difficult to insert and remove and definitely uncomfortable. Um, I definitely wanted to throw this one in here, even though the second time I used it, I felt like I got quicker at inserting it and taking it out. And I feel like especially taking it out, I think I found like my groove, like what I need to do that works best for me when it comes to removing it. Um, but I'm still really struggling with the inserting portion. Um, but I wanted to throw this con in here mainly for the uncomfortable part um, because I feel like that's one of the things that like a menstrual cups really talk about is just how like convenient and comfortable they are. And I just, I don't know, I don't really find it that comfortable um even though using it a second the second time around the more i used it or wore it throughout the day the cramping and any like uncomfortableness that came along with it kind of went away i still wouldn't consider them comfortable uh second con i just plainly wrote out gross <laughs> it's definitely a gross process inserting a menstrual cup and taking it out because i just feel like no matter what you do you're still gonna get you know, all the contents on your hands. And then obviously, you know, you need to like care for the menstrual cup, you need to clean it, whether if you have like a cup wash, um, it you need to like sterilize it in between uses or in between cycles at least. Yeah, I just, I just think it's gross, honestly. I would much rather, in that sense, I would much rather just use a tampon because at least when you take a tampon out, you're really only touching like the string that's not on the inside. So you're less likely to get your hands like really messy. And like, once you take it out, you can just like flush it or throw it away. My third con for menstrual cups, which I was a firm believer that toxic shock syndrome was not a risk with menstrual cups. Um, but I guess it is. I'm trying to remember, I don't think it mentioned in any of like the paper pamphlets um, that came with my particular menstrual cup. I don't think it mentioned it was at like a lower risk compared to if you used tampons or maybe it's a similar risk. I don't really know, but I honestly thought like toxic shock syndrome was really linked to like using tampons. That was one of the reasons that I wanted to like try menstrual cups and potentially switch from using tampons to menstrual cups. So I don't know, I found that to be very disappointing. And now for my pros of menstrual cups, they are eco-friendly, obviously they're reusable, they're cost-effective, you don't really have to worry about, you know, spending the money on tampons or pads, especially if you're just using menstrual cups alone. And they're convenient, like I mentioned uh, with my last cycle, how it just kind of dawned on me how awesome it was that I didn't have to worry about, you know, bringing extra tampons with me or I didn't have to worry about changing my tampon out. Like, it's just great that you have this one product that's reusable. And and you can keep it in for a maximum of 12 hours which is three hours more than a tampon which is great so yeah that's really my you know own experience using a menstrual cup that's just kind of the information and opinions that I have gotten from using it and I don't know having three cons and three pros I'm kind of in the middle 
Um, like I said, I have another cycle coming up pretty soon, so I do plan on using it again just to see, you know, getting more experience with it. I kind of mentioned that like before all of this, I used to be so against them for the longest time just because I thought they were just like so weird and disgusting. And I don't know, I kind of thought that after using it I would have like a definitive opinion like yes menstrual cups are the way to go or no they're disgusting stay far away but like I don't know I'm really caught in the middle you guys are gonna have to let me know your own experiences um I know you guys have commented time for me to go to bed <laughs> I know you guys commented on my vlog, you know, saying that you guys use them yourselves and really recommend them. Um, and I had a lot of people say that you have multiple menstrual cups, which like at first I was like, why the hell would you need more than one? But like, I guess it kind of makes sense, especially if you're using like solely just menstrual cups. I think you would need at least two. So like after you're wearing one for the 12 hours, you need to switch it out with another one. But yeah, if you guys have any more um, experiences, opinions yourself, questions maybe if you've never used one before um definitely leave those all in the comments i'd love to hear from you guys um i'd love to answer any questions you guys have to the best of my ability at least when it comes to my experience yeah that's about it i really hope you all enjoyed this video it was definitely a more like unique embarrassing gross vulnerable video hopefully youtube doesn't take it down like youtube this is for educational purposes i swear uh, but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up i would really appreciate it i'm gonna get going for now but i hope you all are having a wonderful day or night whenever you are watching this and i will see you all very soon in my next video bye